Definitely. It's about keeping that money that you got. Yeah. Yo, it's your boy TKO, MWM, you already right? know what it is. What's up everyone, my name is John from iFromCleveland.com, here to talk about some upcoming releases from TKO, trying to get a little bit more information about him as an artist and who he is. First question I wanted to ask you is just how you got your name? I was like 13. I would rap over people that made beats and shit. After using so many punchlines, they started calling me TKO, you know, the whole boxing thing. Oh, uh, see, so yeah, you recently put out a new song with Stally. Shot a new video for that too called Berries and Cherries. What went yeah. into like the making of that song and also the video? That song is about like police brutality. I had some issues with that, you know, where you know, I had been harassed many times. So I could have a voice, I put it on the record. Starley's pretty big on that type of stuff too, like political rap. And I let him hear the song and um, he liked it. And he was like, yeah, let's do it. What about the song that you just put out called Hawk? An upcoming project, correct? Yeah, Nightmare. Yeah. And uh, it featured Styles P, right? Yeah, Styles P. I'm a comic book dude, you know what I'm saying? Like most of my friends know that. You know, the crazy thing about it is Styles is too. And my, uh, my manager, he played the record for him and uh, Styles liked it. He was like, yo, this is crazy. He had never heard nobody take a, a comic book character and make it in a concept where it can fit a song like that. Right. So your upcoming project, the title of it is Nightmare? Yeah, yeah. So uh, why'd you name it that? I get ideas from my dreams. They come up with something while I'm asleep. And on the album cover, you know what I'm saying, on one side it got a, a angel and the other side is a demon. Because I think like everybody um, struggles with good and evil, like as far as mm -hmm. wanting to do the right thing and wanting to do the wrong thing. Right. How'd you come up with the songs that you wanted on the mixtape and what's unique about them? I'm sure you record like tons of records, so like yeah. what's your process for narrowing those down? That was the hardest thing because I have like 300 songs. DJs come by. Frank, you know, my engineer, mm -hmm. uh, my boy Claiborne, and uh, my manager AJ. Okay. And we would go through records, find out the ones that fit the concept the best. We tried to give it a good balance to where, you know what I'm saying, it was a lot of unconscious stuff, some club stuff, some, um, you know, like just hard knocking type stuff, where it was a good balance that fit the whole image of the CD. It's dope to have a process where you can go to, like, you know, some people that you got trusted, like, within your team. You right, know, right, right. Trying to down. So it's a good way to uh, yeah. put it together. One thing that I noticed is you kept it really consistent, especially with like the sound. Uh, you have a really strong voice, not really going after following trends, throwing auto tune on there, trying to yeah. sing out of your range. Like a lot of artists are nowadays to try and like catch the vibe of like the trends and stuff. Right. So like, what can you say about like who motivates you? What motivates you? Stay true to yourself and who you are as an artist. Just always try to stay to who I am. The thing about it is like when you follow a wave or what everybody doing, eventually that wave gonna end. Right. The people that stay around for a long time, they are distinct from everybody else. They don't sound like anybody else. I make sure that like when certain popular styles is out, I don't follow that and I just right. stay to what I do. That's how you get longevity. What's coming up next and just what we can expect from you? I got a new song called Save Me. And it's about just people that's going through hard times. And I shot a video to it. I had um, a new artist named Sarah um, on it, and she sang the hook for me. It's gonna be it's, it's it's gonna be like a storytelling type of record. It'll be visually nice, and it'll tell the story. Just kind of like everything that we go through. Everybody got family members or their selves go through. You know, what I'm saying some hard times. I'm probably gonna shoot every track on the CD for uh, visual. Yeah, 15 songs. I'm gonna shoot all 15 videos. Okay. When is the actual release date for the project? Beginning of next month. Okay. So who are some of the artists that influenced you to begin rapping in the first place? Nas, that was somebody, um, when I was younger, my mom used to drive me around all the time. Her, one of her favorite singers was Lauryn Hill. I, if I Rule the World, that was like my favorite song when I was way small. I used to like walk around the house, QB chain and shit, and I wanted to be like, and I used to rap in the mirror, and I would quote his lyrics and stuff. Yeah. Man, it was nice talking with you. Definitely, definitely. Follow I'm from Cleveland.com at I'm from Cleveland on social media. It was a blast catching up with TKO. Can't wait to hear the project. Definitely, definitely. Cool.